Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, MMAforSelfDefense.com. Giving a few examples, I'll give one here. How to use Sistema in anti-grappling, anti-wrestling, or really it's just wrestling with looseness. Because any take defense uh, takedown in wrestling is wrestling. Okay, so here's a Sistema application you can use for street self-defense, combatives, for MMA, or even in a wrestling match. You could probably get away with it because they're not going to know what it is the first few times. So you high school, you know, wrestlers out there just don't hit as heavy. Anyway, if a guy comes in on like a waist clinch, okay, he's coming to throw me. He's getting in deep here, he can lift me, he can throw me, suplex me, whatever he's trying to do to me, me bump me. Okay, a guy's coming in for your waist, if you react instantly is the key. Or, you can do it not instantly if your back's pushed up against a wall or a cage. Okay, but instantly is the best. Or if you're against the wall or the cage, you can do that too, when you're pummeling against the cage and then have a bow. Then he comes in, I'm going to hit him here, and rotate. So easy this was, I'm rotating his head three dimensional. I'm going to give a light slap. You can see that's not very good. I mean, I'd really go, but I'm being fairly nice to my partner on his neck. I'm going to give a loose slap. And I'm going to rotate his head back and then down. So it's a three-dimensional neck manipulation. If we're working two dimensions, I don't break his structure. But if we're working three dimensions, he's not very strong. So I could even do this if I'm in a fighting stance. He comes in, come in. Good, come back. Okay, and then he's down, whatever. I got this guy. Come slow, I can go from fighting stance. Here, slap here, I'm gonna work. Hits his neck, rotate his head, back, and then down. Can we take one more fast one? Okay. Um, slowly, this should be worked against the wall. Over here to the wall. Same thing. Let's say that he's in here, I can work the same one here. I can also break his structure by hitting here. Okay? A hit and a neck manipulation at the same time. If he's in tight, it's okay. Even if you're this way, I can pull his head and then rotate him back. Okay? Or let's say he's got double underhooks and he's just working knees. You screwed up in the pummeling, he's just working knees to the thighs and stuff in an MMA match. I see this all the time in the UFC. I could do the same one here, or I could do put Jack back in the box. I have a video on that. Be strong, keep your structure. We're fighting here. I do Jack back in the box. Hands on top of the head, and uh, vibrations on his spine. Boom, he has no structure. I can do a nasty knee and throw him to the ground. Okay, Jack back in the box. Vibrations on the spine is how the spine works. Okay, so you got the three dimensional uh, neck manipulation take down. As soon as the guy comes in, you can hit it. Uh, I would also put in a weave with a looseness with the hips. Okay, if you really came fast, it's hard to demonstrate. I would go loose with my butt. Here. See this? Here. Hook. Hook. My butt out, stick it, looseness. I'm throwing my weight forward, just like the push punch drill. This is a push punch drill from Amaya Show. In here, one more time. Yeah. He's in here, he's coming in. So I street self defense. The guy comes in, or I'm in another man, the guy's getting at me. If I can get my hand in here, or even if it's fight, I can manipulate the top of the forehead. Here. And down. Boom. Okay, straight to arm bar. Over the face, whatever. So there's some systemic applications, guys, for MMA and wrestling problems. Really good wrestling is loose technical wrestling using um, posture and um, structure. So work against the opponent's structure. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Thank you.